This video was made possible with the EA Creator Network. Oh, thank you. All right, so the EA was kind enough to gift me the two new kits. And what was the name of those kits? The Artist Studio Kit and the Storybook Nursery Kit. And they were also kind enough to give me one extra of each game. So you know what that means. I'm going to give them away. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to have a little giveaway. And if you win, you will get one of the kits, not both. That's how this giveaway works. So all you have to do to join this giveaway is to reply to my pinned comment down in the comment section and then write which one of the kits that you would like the most. And because you YouTube doesn't have a DM function, you also have to write your username to either Instagram or TikTok, or in worst case scenario, Twitter, I'm not gonna say X, that's not gonna happen. And also say which one of the social medias they are, because otherwise I wouldn't know. And um, that's it, basically, how about it? <laughs> and also here's my usernames to TikTok and Instagram, you do not have to follow me there at all, but that's just so you know that it's me popping into your DMs and giving you the code, okay? I don't want anybody to get scammed or anything like that, okay? So those are my usernames, yes. And the end of the giveaway is the 20 29th of September and I will choose the winner then so watch out for that <laughs> so on to what this video is actually about a shell challenge Doo -doo -doo. Yes, I'm going to create my own shell challenge. And saying shell challenge is very difficult for me. I'm too Norwegian to do this. I cannot. Shell challenge. Yeah, I'm going to create my own shell challenge. And that's going to be something. It's going to be a hoot and a half. And you know what's going to be a hoot and a half? It's because you are now challenged to do this shell challenge. You right there. You have to do it. No exceptions. Some exceptions. But I'm not going to tell those uh, exceptions. No, no, no. What am I even saying right now? All right, so let's make this shell, shall we? Oh, we shall. All righty. So here I am on my little lot. Whoa. And we are in the forgotten hollow. Because I thought, you know, it's uh, soon spooky time. So I want to be spooky with this build. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But we are here, people. We are here. So now what I got to do is make the shell for this house that both you and me have to build with. So I want to make it challenging, but not too challenging. Let's see what happens. Let's see what Nora does. Okay, what if we start off with a 4x4 box? And then a little 2x1 there. Create some shapes. And then another little box right there. And then what if I just have a long box? boy right there and then just normal four by four right there <laughs> i don't know what am i even doing at this point i have wait what if we just have a diagonal box right there just to make it horrible for everybody involved in this okay oh whoo, fantastic amazing and then what if right here i just kind of make a little basement but with no roof you know oh i forgot this little spot well it's gonna be like this people it's gonna be like this good luck with that one <laughs> actually what if we have a little basement to go along with this you know yes create some shapes nora create them beautiful magnificent i love it so much okay so so there's the first floor. What have I done? That kind of looks like a little t-shirt with a really long arm. My gosh. And then the second floor. What if I make the room bigger on the top than on the bottom? But then just have the same size right there. <laughs> what? It's not going to be a stupid idea. And then here we can have the same size, but we go out one bit. That's going to be ridiculous. And then just have the same size right there. <laughs> and then we're going to have a third floor, people. <laughs> and we're going to go even bigger. <laughs> but this one's going to be the same size. Same size and that one too. And make this one even bigger. Oh, yikes. <gasps> what if I put in a circular room? People are going to hate this. I am going to hate this, but I'm going to do it. And it's going to be wonderful for us. There we go. And where am I going to put this uh, thing? Interesting. Maybe I'm just going to put it right there. Have it floating up in the air? Oh, what if I have a double one? Oh, yes. Beautiful. I love it. And then just to top it all off, I'm going to have a random box right there. And uh, there is, um, there's my house. Ta-ta. Here is the beautiful shell that both you and me are going to be building with, okay? I have made something really horrible here, and I'm so sorry. This is ridiculous. All right, so now that I made my beautiful shell, I can tell some more information about this. So one, the rules of the challenge, you're not allowed to change any of the exterior walls, all right? No, you're not allowed to change the exterior walls. The exterior walls stay. But you are allowed to put up fences, half walls, platforms, shebangidiboo, all of the other things are allowed. You're just not allowed to put up more walls or remove walls, okay? The inside walls, though, you're allowed to do whatever you want with the inside walls. Nobody cares about the inside walls. You can do what you want. So yeah, that's the rules. And then second of all, where can you find this shell? Oh, you can find this shell on my gallery. My gallery ID is Just Nora Gaming. And this shell is called Just Nora Shell Challenge. So that's the shell. <laughs> and how do you upload the shell? Well, you upload it to the gallery with the hashtag Just Nora Shell Challenge. Mm. And last but not least, when does the shell challenge end? It ends on 22nd of October. October 22nd for the Americans. So you have a whole month on you, okay? And when you have have uploaded it to the gallery i will look through them all and i will showcase them on my channel in one of my videos so look out for that people look out for that and all of this information i will link down below of course if you are confused i'm sometimes
sometimes confused and I need it in writing as well. So, bada bing bada boom, let's continue on with the shell. Okay, so here is the shell. <laughs> I mean, it's something to behold, isn't it? I don't even know what to do with the shell. I need to think about this. I made this very difficult for myself. <laughs> Alright, I've been searching around the internet for some inspiration and I think I'm gonna go with this sort of style because I do think that it fits this and best of a shell, you know? I kind of do think so. <laughs> so what am I gonna begin with first? Maybe I'm gonna tackle the roof first because that is a nightmare and a half for this build. So maybe I'm gonna begin with this roof maybe? A little gabled roof action? I don't know. Oh, not like that. No, no, no. Maybe we can have a little spiky roof here. Then we can have like a bigger spiky roof right there. Oh my gosh, it's a monstrosity. Wait, didn't I have another room there? Did I delete something accidentally? Hold on. Okay, there it is. There is the frickety frickety room. <laughs> I had accidentally deleted. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm gonna continue on this roof again. My wonderful, wonderful roof. I am getting along somewhere. I'm still not happy with it. Maybe it will look better with some real old roof tiles. Ah, that looks a lot better already. And now I have to pick me wallpaper for this house. So what am I gonna do? Maybe on the bottom it can be all stone, you know? For a stony moment. And then the second floor can be this half stone wallpaper. Maybe. And then for the third floor I can go for this one. Is that a vibe? Is that a moment? Not sure. What about some uh, wall freezers? Ooh. Oh, that's kind of fancy. This is looking good already. What a wonderful day. <laughs> Alright, so I changed up some of the wallpaper on some of the walls just to get a little bit of contrast, you know? Just to get some life into this building. Alright, now we need to figure out the friggity friggity windows. Ooh, maybe for the first floor we can have this stony window. So it kind of blends in with the wall, you know? Maybe that could be something. Then we can have some of these windows everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's a spider on my screen. Get right for me. That was scary. Okay, back to this house. Ooh, and you know what? I can put up some little dormers as well. That will liven up this place. Ah, and you know what? This house needs a lot of support, okay? It needs a lot of support. Look at that. It's bigger on the top, but it needs support. So maybe we can put in these little corbels. We can just put them on right on there. Yeah, I mean, that can work. But now I need to figure out where we're supposed to get into this freaking house. Okay. <laughs> where is the entrance? Okay, what if these two little spots are shops? Maybe. It could be. So what if this is like a bookstore or something? Then this can be an art gallery. Because we got that new kit. So we got to use it. What can this store be? It's not going to be a baby store. That's that's not happening. Or maybe it can be like a crystal shop. Because I really want to use that uh, crystal creation pack some more. So maybe today is the day. Okay. So crystal shop and an art gallery thingy thing. But that still doesn't help me with how they're supposed to get into the rest of the house. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I can just have some stairs here or something. No, that's not going to work. Okay, what if I have some stairs here? Is that going to work? Oh, what am I going to do? I have this little spot right there. Why did I do that? What am I going to do with that little spot? What if I... Oh no, this is going to be so difficult. What if I take the stairs like so? Can that work? No. Oh no. Hold on. What if I go like so? No. Ah, oh, what am I supposed to do? I am in a real pickle now, people. Why did I do this to myself? Okay, after almost an hour of figuring out how to place the stairs, I managed to freaking place the stairs that works with this uh, thingy thing. It was a complete nightmare. I gotta be honest. I was about to cry, <laughs> but I managed to do it. I went with this wiggly wiggly staircase that leads up to here, and there's a front door. Yeesh. And I also put up a little balcony right there. Because I felt like it. Okay, now we gotta start figuring out what to do with the outside here. What am I gonna do? I feel like I want something um, small, cobble town inspired esque situation. Hope that made sense. You never know if what Nora says makes any sense at all. You never know. Oh, what am I gonna do with this? What is this gonna be? I don't know. That was a good question, people. What is this gonna be? I need to think about that. Well, ooh, maybe we can just put another staircase in there and then just have some sort of apartment or something? Maybe. There's so many things to think about today. It is. All right, it's some time later and I managed to fit a freaking staircase in that. Do not ask me about it. I, I don't want to anymore. Oh, but I am just gonna begin with putting up a little fence in the front here. Maybe that will, um, will that be something? I think so. And then I just put up a lot of bushes around the fence, you know? Just to make it pop, people. Just to make it pop. And I, you know what? I think, yeah, I think that looks nice. And then I just continue on with placing these little plants everywhere. Just around the freaking fence, the small fences and stuff like that. And every nook and cranny, Nora's gonna put up her freaking plants. Oh, yes. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, I put up all my plants. I 
around the fence and around the house as well. You know, you know? The plants are kind of growing out of the cobblestone, but um, we shall not think about that, people. We shall not think about that, okay? No, we're not doing it. No. And I think for this front part right here, I am actually just going to use debug packages to make a little fence. Just for the ambience, people. Just for the ambience. And there she goes. And she did it. Beautiful. Magnificent. I wish that the color was a little bit darker, but what are you supposed to do? Nothing. Okay, let's move on to the back here. And what do I want in the back here? Maybe I can have a little pond right there. Would that be something? I just make a little pond. A little pond moment. And then I circle it around with some rocks. Some gray old rocks. And I'm also just going to add in a lot of plants to make a fantastic old pond. And that's what she did. She made a pond, people. She made a pond. Happy with that pond. <laughs> then I can maybe put up a tree right there. And a tree right there. And then just some more random plants everywhere maybe. And some rocks and stuff. So create some ambiances. Okay, now I need something on the cobblestone to make it city-like. Cobble city-like. What can I do? I can actually put up this little table with an umbrella and some chairs. For some reason they have that. And on the other side I can have a little selling table. I don't know why, but it's there. <laughs> And on the back side here, you can put up some plants, maybe some plant boxes. Yeah. And this little fountain that doesn't really fit in, but I'm going to put it in anyway. I felt the vibe and I'm going with the vibe. And then maybe just some more sitting tables out here. Yeah. I don't know why there's so many people sitting here, but they are sitting here, people. They are. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. And now there comes the big challenge of doing the layout for this house. And where am I am going to start with that? Because this is a weird looking house. Oh, geodice. All right, I'm back, people. I uh, <laughs> I decided to do it off camera because it started to take a really long time and I was so confused and I didn't know what to do. So yeah, this is the layout of the house, people. Hope you enjoyed because I, I tried my best. All right, so on the first floor here, we have the entrance moment and then another hallway moment and another hallway moment. A lot of hallways. And then right here, we have the kitchen and dining and then we have a little bathroom right there. Boom. And on the second floor, we have the living room, the primary bedroom, an ensuite bathroom, and a walk-in closet. And then right here, we have the nursery. And the nursery is two floors, people. Two freaking floors. So I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> have you ever seen a two-floor nursery before? Because I haven't seen that, that for sure. And you also may notice that there is a staircase on the outside. And that is because there was no room to put a staircase in here. And there was no room to put a ladder in here. Instead, the ladder had to be in the middle of the room because this is a round room. So that was going to take up too much space. So the staircase is on the outside, people. Oh, wow. Proud of that. Oh, no, wait. This is the first floor. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Well, here is the real first floor, people. We have the little crystal shop and the art studio shop place. And in the basement, I thought that there could be an art studio. You know, that's where the person makes the art for the art shop. But anyways, let's start furnishing this place. And I think we're going to start with the art shop. Indeed. So I think actually I'm going to create a little wall right there. So then this can be the actual shop, you know? And then this can be the back room. Sounds good to Nora. And then we need some funky wallpaper for this place. And what can that be? I think maybe just this wallpaper from Crystal Creation. It has some good vibes, people. It has some good vibes. And then maybe I can have some sort of other wallpaper right there just to create some ambiances. What about this one? I don't know. Maybe. So what do we need for a little Crystal shop? We need somewhere to have the register. And then I can put up some tables right there that we can have our crystals on. Yeah. And then on those tables, we can have a lot of crystals crystals, some jewelry that they made, and some geos maybe. Ooh, that would be cool. Oh, <gasps> and my pillow disappeared. Oh no. How did that happen? I gotta fix that in the end, but um, <laughs> but here are my beautiful jewelry. I cannot say that word. And then above that, we can have those little cages. No, they're not cages. They're like display cubes. These ones just right along there. Then I can have like some crystals in them or something. Crystals and metals of all the shapes and sizes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are my crystals. I think I'm beginning to liking this vibe. That was not a correct sentence, but, um... <laughs> Okay. Then maybe right here we can place a little table. What can we have on that table? <gasps> what if I have this little crystal gnome? <laughs> and then I just place a lot of those little whatever they are around him. Because that would be creepy and scary and cool. Just like so. <laughs> what are they called? Okay, refined stuff. That's uh, <laughs> something to behold. And then for the register, we need a register. It wouldn't be a register without a register. Oh, jubilee. And then for the back of the place, what can we do? Maybe I can put up some bookshelves? Yeah, you know what? I can put up these ones from the car. So I'm back. So I can have them on this side. And then maybe one on this side as well. And then I just need to put in a lot, a lot of nickety knacks. Like a ton of nickety knacks. I'm going to put in some crystals and some metals and some working tools and whatever else I can find on my way for this nickety knackety journey. And there are all the nickety knacks that I put up on my beautiful shelves. And oh my gosh, there is a lot, a lot of stuff here. That um, took a long time, but oh me, oh my. And then in this corner, what can we have there? Something cool, something funky. I can maybe put up a metal 
around. That's cool and funky. And then I can put up this, uh, what is this? Mystical Moonlight Crystal Grid. That sounds okay for me. And then just have a chair in the corner with some tools and some more crystal tools stuff. And then, oh my gosh, we need a workbench. How could I forget that? We need a workbench. Laura, what are you doing? All right, so I'm going to put my workbench right there and uh, <laughs> put some Nicky Knacks on that. Oh, Geodite. And now we need some sort of carpet. And what carpet could work for this? Well, they're going to be really messy. So what can work for that? What if I just put up some really <laughs> gross newspapers? You know what? I kind of like that. I'm going to keep that. I've decided. Oh, I love this room. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic, actually. Like, look at this. I would love to shop here. Gotta be honest. I would love to shop here. Okay, let's move on to the art studio. And what am I going to do in here? Maybe I'm going to change the wallpaper. That's always a good idea. So I think I'm going to start off with this wallpaper. And then maybe I can go for a lighter shade in here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And since this is an art studio, I can put up some tables to display her art. And I'm also just going to put up a table in the middle. Well, for her most important piece. <laughs> and then, of course, we need some art to be on the walls. And what can that be, people? What can that be? All right, so I'm just going to use the Van Gogh. I cannot say that name. I'm sorry. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. I tried. Paintings from the gallery. That's by Blush Nugget. That I used in my last build as well. I think they can fit in here. So I'm going to be putting them up. Okie dokie. So there are my paintings. And yes, I know the plant is taking through the wall. Do not look at it. I'm going to fix that in the end. I'm going to fix it. Right, so on these tables, we need to find something that they... That they can be at the tables. And what can that be? Okay, so on this table, we could maybe have some urns and some vases. Yeah, she's been making the vases. And then maybe on this table, I can put up those little clay sculptures. Yeah, she has been dabbling in some clay people. She has. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, so on this table, we can build that table. Oh my gosh. Oh, what about the woodworking stuff? She has been doing some woodworking as well. <laughs> okay. And isn't that magnificent? But there isn't that many clay uh, statues that I like. What can be on the bottom? I have to find that out okay i just took this statue and <laughs> put it on the bottom here there you go beautiful and what can be on that middle table though that's what i want to know people that's what i want to know i think actually i'm gonna put up this statue in the middle on this tiny tiny table try not to knock that over okay paul and then in that corner what can we have here maybe i can put up these tables i have never used these tables before i gotta be honest because i don't know what to use them for but today is the day people and what can i have on those tables <gasps> what if i have some skulls would that be something i think i'm gonna do that and there we go my beautiful skulls she has been painting them she's doing great in life uh, <laughs> what more do we need for this uh, place oh we need a register of course we need that <laughs> All right, so I can put up this cabinet. No, it's a counter right there with a register on it. Oh, actually, I can put this here just for some more storage or something. I don't know, but something it can be. I just put up some more parts and stuff. She's been making a lot of stuff, this woman. I don't know. Then maybe actually in the corner right there. What if we have a little stool with like a coffee cup and some magazines or something? So when there's no customers in here, she just sits on that stool and reads a magazines. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <gasps> and on this wall right here, we can have a lot of postcards and stuff. Wouldn't that be fun? And we can just pretend that they're little art prints or something that she's selling. Oh, yes, my little postcard wall. Beautiful. Where did my statue go? Hello? Where did it go? Oh, I gotta put that up again. But here's the art studio. What a magnificent day. Oh, and by the way, if you notice that this room is a little bit darker than it usually is, it's because I have a lead strip that goes along here. And it said on the box that the lead strip would last for five years, but it lasted for six months only. So, Ikea, you got some explaining to do. All right, now back to what I was doing. Okay, so this was supposed to be the entryway so i think it's good to start with a little entryway table don't you think oh i think so so i can start with putting up this one and you know what else i'm gonna do i'm gonna put up some hallway nicky necks <laughs> and then we need a mirror and oh i want this mirror oh beautiful my favorite mirror oh yeah i also did some little split leveling i totally forgot to say that but i did i wanted to try something new and i didn't like it but you know here we are maybe i'm gonna put up a plant in the corner as well <laughs> oh and i can't forget my umbrella stand Wah. oh and i'm also gonna put up some shoes here because you need shoes in the hallway. You do. And I can also have this uh, male thing right there. Oh, and this creepy little lamp. I love that lamp. And should I have a broom in here? Maybe. I don't know what they're going to do with that broom or something. What they're going to do with that broom. They're going to clean up. No, what else would you do with a broom? Okay, so in here, that was going to be the bathroom. So maybe we can put up some bathroom bricks. Bathroom bricks and <laughs> some flooring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what do we need in the bathroom? I made so many bathrooms by now. I should probably know what I want now. But I don't know. We need a sink, of course. Can we find the sink. What about this sink? No. Or you know what? Actually, I'm gonna put up this sink. I like that sink. Like, I use that sink so often because I just love it. It works with everything. And then over here, we need a toilet. And what toilet can I be? I can put up this toilet nice and neat and toilet roll.
hole. <laughs> and then actually above that, I'm gonna put up a shelf. We can have some bathroom nickety nights on that shelf. Mm. Sweet, sweet nickety nights. Oh, and then a rug that never hurt anybody. And that was the first bathroom for today, people. I even got Ghidri over the toilet. I don't know why I put him up there, but <laughs> he protects the bathroom. All right, now this space. What am I gonna do with this space? Maybe I can put up a couch in here just for a little couch moment, you know? And then we can have a stool right there. We need a stool with some stool nickety nights. <laughs> Don't ask me what that is, but it's something. And then we need a carpet and we need a light so they can see what they're doing. Beautiful. Beautiful couch corner. Ooh, what if you have... What is this? A librarian book sorting cart. Okay, we can have that. I don't know why they would have that, but they can have that with a little plant also. Oh, and in that weird corner, we can have one of those corner shelves. If I can find one though, that is the question. There we go. I can have this and I can pop it right there. Pop. And then on here, I can put up a lot, a lot of pictures. Make a little picture collage wall. Yeah, a little sweet, sweet collage wall. Pop and then in this hallway, I can put up these creepy, creepy pictures. So just <laughs> on every wall, there's going to be <laughs> these pictures. And isn't that a nice, creepy hallway? I think so. Okay, so in here, this is going to be the kitchen. And what do we need for kitchen? We need kitchen stuff. <gasps> okay, I think I'm going to go for these counters. One of my favorite counters. going to place them somewhere. <laughs> then we also need a fridge that goes along with this. So maybe this one from Cottage Living. I almost said Cottage Adventure. And I don't think that is a pack. Cottage Adventure. What is, what is that from? I don't know, but it's from something. All right, so this is where we're at with the kitchen. Whoop. I put up some brick wallpaper along here. Very nice. And I also put up some columns that you can only see when you zoom out, which is annoying. They disappear when you zoom in. Blech. But yeah, I need to find some nicky knacks to put on here. And what can that be? Well, I for sure want a little kettle. And that was all I had, really. <laughs> what else do I need? <laughs> Nora. Think of something. Okay. Nora's gonna think of something and it's gonna be magical. All right, so this is what I put up so far. Got whatever this is. Some pans. Got my little coffee corner. Some plants, a little candy bowl, <laughs> and some cooking stuff, and some olive oil. Yes, got some plants, got some books. What a nice kitchen. Then for the dining table, what can we do for the dining table? We need a sweet, sweet table and some sweet, sweet chairs. I can maybe put up this table. Would that be a vibe? No, I'm gonna put up this table. That's the vibe. And some chairs. That would also be some good vibes with some chairs. That fits the vibe. That fits the mood for this dining room. Did that rhyme? No, it did not <laughs> rhyme. And that, be friends, was the kitchen and dining room. Wow, I like. It. I do like it. I wish that the carpet was another shade. Just like a smidge warmer tone. But eh, it's okay for now. What are we gonna move on to now? Good question. And by the way, what is going on with the living room with the shadows? What is happening? I honestly have no idea. Oh, where have I ended up? Am I in the roof? Oh, yes, I am. Huh, great, great day. I think I'm gonna start working on the primary bedroom. Actually, I think I'm going with this wallpaper. And then we can have another tone right there. That's nice. And then for the bed. Oh, I want this bed. Because in my last build when I got the art he who aesthetic I was kind of sad that I didn't get it for a bedroom you know because of this bed right here fits in so well with that aesthetic so I think I'm gonna use that today <gasps> and with that we're kind of combining the two aesthetics together you know the crystal shop and the art studio oh wow that was unintentional but okay and then the foot of the bed what can we have I think we can have a little ottoman boom and then pair it up with a carpet a nice nice carpet for the peeps and then in that corner we can put in a mirror because I felt like it and then we can have like a desk here or something so they can be writing their thoughts their lovely marriage their thoughts and then we can have this typewriter computer to match their vibes i don't know what their vibes are actually what would be the vibes for the people who live in this freaking house who knows <laughs> but anyways here's a little cute desk moment got some art stuff some weird stuff some plants you know just a normal desk stuff <laughs> oh no my windows are placed weird <gasps> can i change them up no i cannot change up the windows because that has to be in the middle oh and i can't really make that room bigger because then it's gonna be a chunky i meant clunky not chunky it's gonna be a clunky room <laughs> maybe we can just hide that bald spot up with the bookshelf oh yeah i like that vibe i do indeed like that vibe. and then right here we can have a table and i'm gonna put some nicky knacks on that <laughs> so do love me nicky knacks and wow got a little phone i got a little radio that matches the bed whatever this is a sage moment and yeah lovely lovely time oh and then actually since they have a little balcony maybe we should have a mat you know it maybe it gets dirty out there Maybe it gets 30 people. And then I can put up this hanging coat thingy thing. And then on top of that, I can squeeze on a little shelf. And then on that shelf, I can put a picture frame with a picture in it. <laughs> and then some little shelf nickety necks. Beautiful. Got some more sage stuff that you plant. What more do you need? What more do you need, people? Oh, we need hanging plant. That's what the people need. All right, so now for the bathroom. And which one of these was supposed to be the 
bathroom. Maybe this one. I don't remember, but maybe. Okay. I am going to begin with the wallpaper. And I'm going to choose that one. Where am I? No, I'm going to go with that one. Ah, lovely choices, Pandora. And then for the flooring, I'm going to use the one from Werewolves. I do love me some shabby flooring. What else do we need? <laughs> we need bathroom stuff. <laughs> so I am actually going to put in this sink. And when I put that sink in the corner, I'm going to put some naked in that on that sink. I don't know what my energy is today, but it's something out of the ordinary. Okay, then we need a toilet. And I'm going to put up this toilet. Bam. One of the only nice toilets we have, actually. Oh, and I'm actually going to put up this mirror. I never actually go for this uh, sort of mirror, but where is it? <laughs> I lost it there. But it is from the Crystal Creation Pack, and I really wanted to use that pack today. Even though I just got two new kits. <laughs> I'm so good at promoting stuff. <laughs> Deeply. I cannot believe this. And then for the curtain, we need a good curtain. And actually, what if I take this big curtain, and then I size it down a bunch of times, and then I plop it on the window? Not like that, but like that. I think that works with the vibe, actually. Who would have thank it? Right. Now, time for the bathtub. We need a bathtub. Not that bathtub. A good one. I'm gonna go for this bathtub. Wham! Shabalam! And what a bathtub moment it was. Maybe we also need some towels or something. What about these? No. What about these? They're the exact same ones. <laughs> and that was the second bathroom of the day. Wham! Now let's move on to the walk-in closet. And now, uh, ooh. This is a tight squeeze of a walk-in closet. But I think that works for the story. Because I don't think they know what they're doing. The people who live in this house. I just, I don't think they know what they're doing. Okay. So on the top here in that corner, we can have some shelves. That's always fun. And then to elongate. That was a hard word. We can also put up some of these shelves in the right color, of course. And then put some Nikki Nacks on there. Can't that be an idea? Does that look good? Does that look fresh? We shall find out. You know what? Yeah, I think that looks decent enough for me. My shelves. I put up the most random stuff on them. <laughs> okay, what can we have in that corner? I do wonder. Maybe I can put up these uh, clothing rack things. I can put in some clothes. Wah -wah. And then I can also put in some shoes. Very, very lovely shoes. And then I can also put in some boxes, maybe, and some magazines, and some other weird nickety necks. I mean, yeah, I put in some boxes. I also put in some plant pots for some reason. And then just some more nickety necks, you know. And I can also put in some more shoes. And a mirror. And a carpet. And more of these weird beetle lights. Bam. Shamalam. Wait, is that? <gasps> oh my gosh! They finally categorized them correctly. What? Because usually you wouldn't be able to see that one because they had apparently categorized it wrong. So it didn't show up in the catalog at all. You had to do magic tricks to find it. But now it's just here. Wow. That only took them a couple of months. Okay. So that was uh, <laughs> so that was the walk-in closet. It's very cramped. But I do kind of like it. It has some charm. And it looks very realistic as well. You know? It is not fancy dancy. It's very realistic. Yeah. Ooh. This patio. What can we have on this patio? I'm looking for answers. Maybe we can have a telescope. They can look at the stars. And then we can have a chair moment in there. Or a table first. No, not a table first. What am I doing? Yes, we can have some chairs and then the table. Where did the table go? There it is. Lovely. Lovely moment they can have out here. And oh, wow, we now for the living room. What are we going to do for the living room? We need a couch. That's for sure. What couch do I want to go for? I think I'm going to go for this one from Cottage Living. Okay, hold on. Before I do anything else, I just need to check if this nursery can actually work. So if I just put in a bassinet right there and then just a random changing table right there. Okay, we have space for that. I'm sorry. I just needed to check that out because otherwise I would have some problems. All right, back to the living room. So for the couch, I can put up some pillows and this cool book. And then I need a coffee table. And that's a very lovely coffee table, actually. And then I'm, of course, going to put some Nicky Nacks on there because why wouldn't I? And there we have it. Nice Nicky Nacks. All right, so right here, I thought we could have a fireplace. And then we can change the wall behind it to some bricks or something. And then I'm also going to change this wall, this wallpaper here. Boom. To get some contrast. Okay, back to the fireplace. I'm all over the place today. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to put up my fireplace Nicky Nacks. And I'm excited for that. <laughs> That's something to be excited about. Fireplace Nicky Nacks. Now, moving on to this spot. What can be in there? I do wonder. Maybe I can put up some bookshelves from the book nook kit. I mean, that fits in. Real nice and neat. But will it look real nice and neat with some Nicky Nacks in there? We shall soon find out, people. We are gonna find out. Right, so I put up all my Nicky Nacks. You know, got my little axolotl, some books, some plants, some statues. I even put in these books right here that are actually real books in the game. And then I just used to mod to rotate them around and all that shebang. I also did the same here. It was not fun to do, but I had to do it. I had to do it on them. And I floated down. And I floated back up again. What a journey we had together. Truly. <laughs> okay, what more can we have in this living room? Maybe we can have some sort of table behind the couch, just for some couch protection. So I can put up this table and uh, we're gonna have some table nicky necks. And what's that gonna be? I gotta think about that. But it's gonna happen, people. The living room nicky necks 
will continue forever and ever. Alrighty, so here are my new hidden eggs. Put up a lamp, some plants, put up this little basket with some bills in it. <laughs> fun, fun time. Okay, so in this corner, I was actually thinking about putting up one of those uh, standing pianos. Pianos? Because it fits in. Okay, it's a bit of a tight of a squeeze, but it fits in and I've never used this before. I never placed that in anywhere. Nowhere. I know, wow. Piano nook, we got it. What more do I need for this living room? We need something here. That's very plain and boring. What can we do in there? I can put up this easel right there. And then on this staircase wall, I think I want some picture collages. There's a lot, a lot of pictures that they have collected over the years. And it's gonna be lovely. And there is my picture collage wall. I even put in some fish. No, they're not fish. They're um the things that you catch the fish with. And I do not know what that is. I don't even know that word in Norwegian. Well, there's my picture collage wall. And that was indeed the living room. And I do love it a lot. <clears throat> it's, um, it's the next day. Hello, hello. I do hope that I look okay on camera right now because I just did a, the quickest makeup and hair routine ever. I haven't even washed my hair. But yeah, anyways, the neighbors are also renovating their house right now and my light is still broken and this is just not a good day. Anyways, by now, you might have noticed that both the artist studio basement and the nursery hasn't been done. And what is the reason for that? Well, <laughs> well, that's because the creator codes for the packs came out really late. So I was supposed to get the codes at like 7 p.m. But I instead got them at like 10 p.m. And that was just way too late for Nora to be filming anything, really. So here I am. I'm, I'm going to do it right now. Even though I look like a hot mess, I'm doing it. <laughs> and if you want to see a whole review of these kits, it's on my second channel. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. What are we going to start with first? The artist studio? I think that is a swell idea. And I think we're going to begin with the wallpaper, which is only one Samoan, by the way. But yeah, I'm going to put up this wallpaper. I love this. I mean, look at that. This is right up my street. Maybe I can do like a funky color up in here. It's kind of reminding me of a very weird... Napoleon ice cream or a Tresis as we've said in Norway. Maybe I can start off with putting up an easel here and then we can have this little drape backdrop right there. Shyamalan. And we can also have like a studio pedestal just right there. We can put a little vase on there and whatever this is. And we can have this little naked man on that tiny chair. Teeny tiny chair. Wow. <laughs> and then in that corner we can have this uh, shelf thingy with a lamp. Can we squeeze in the lamp or is that too much? I don't know. But on this side we can have like a little what is this called? A trilletralla? Oh my gosh what is that called in English? Cart. Trilitral is a much better word. And right next to the trilitral, we can have a thing. Impressive. Oh, and we can have this on top. Ooh, beautiful. And then maybe right here, we can have this, uh, whatever this is. A locker. Nice. We want that in another color. Ooh, spicy. And then I thought in this corner, we can put up this. Craftmatic woodworking table 2.0. Yes, people. We have got a new woodworking table. We have only had one woodworking table for 10 years. We finally got a new one. And it looks amazing. I love that. I do. And in this corner, we can have this uh, thingy tang. Oh, that is perfect. I love that. And right here, we can have this. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love the little drawers and everything. Oh, nice. All right, let's put up some posters and stuff. That is well much needed in here. Then we can put up some nickety knacks. What about this book stack? Oh, I am going to use that book stack so much. This is perfect for me. And also these paint cans and the painter's palette. Oh, <gasps> cute. And the other art supplies. That can be on top here. A very nice. Oh, and we can't forget about the paint splatches. That's going to be everywhere. Everywhere in this room. Is this person has been really messy. Maybe we can have another easel over there as well. Just for the fancies. Just for the fancies. Oh, I need to have stuff to put in here too. Okay. Huh? I can put up this one. And maybe some more posters right there. Maybe like a lamp or something. Maybe. And that I indeed did. Oh, this is looking so cute. Look at this little hallway. And this art studio. I love it so much. I mean, look at all the nickety knacks I put up right there. Oh, I love it. It. And I also put up a yarn basket right there and a cross stitching box because she's been dabbling in every art form. Oh, she has. And oh my gosh, this is looking so cute. And ah, oh, mama, mama, this might be my favorite kit. I'm not even gonna lie, it might be my favorite kit. Alrighty, let's start working on the nursery. And I'm really scared for nursery. I gotta be honest, I am. What do we have? Oh, that's right. We have this wallpaper, which is actually really cool. I mean, look at that. I don't know what's going on there, but I like it. And I thought actually I want to use this uh, nap time rug, the plush nap time rug, and I'm gonna size it up. And look at that. It fits perfectly for this room. <laughs> that is at least something. Okay, let's get the crib up. It's my crib. And I think I am going to go for... Ooh, what do I want to go for? There's so many colors. Maybe just this pink tone color. So I'm not feeling creative today. I'm feeling angry. Mostly at my neighbors. Oh, and we're also going to put up this. The clown-tastic canopy. Put it like so. No, that I'm not going to do. I'm going to put it like so. There. No. Oh, this room is impossible. I'm going to put it up like so. That's better. <laughs> and of course, I have to put up the 
this new plushie. Look at that. Look at that little thing. Oh. Then I can put up this one. What is that again? A diaper bag. Could have probably guessed that myself. And then I can put up this table with some little nicky knacks on it, maybe. And wow, I put them up. I got a new cute lamp and the picture frames and the flower. Good, good times. And I floated away. Oh, where did I go? And I can put up this uh, chair here. Yeah, that is nice and cute and funky. And a new and lovely baby changing station. Oh my gosh, that is so fancy. And you know what? If Judith Ward ever gets a baby, he's gonna use that. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> right, and on top here, we can put up this uh, shelf. And it doesn't really fit with the curved wall, so we gotta size it down a little bit. And <laughs> we can put some nicky knacks on that. Got the file. Oh, and in this corner, we can have this uh, thingy thing. It is a toy box. And then what can I have on that? I think I want some teddy bears or something. Something, something. And now for the curtains. And uh, <laughs> I like these curtains. These are nice curtains, but they do not fit my window. My gosh darn windows. So <laughs> what am I gonna do? All right, I tried to squeeze them in with the tool mod, but as you can see, it's not working great. I have to think about that. Okay, let's move on to the next floor this one and i've already put up the wallpaper because i'm a productive queen and what are we gonna do up here maybe i'm gonna put in another one of those mats because i like that it fits the vibe fits the room yeah and then i actually think i would have put in this one which is a um clothing rack for your little bye bye and you can put clothes in there look adorable and then you can put like other things in the little slots what am i gonna put in who does i put in a lot of weird stuff and oh my gosh my neighbor is hammering away i put in some stuff oh this nightmare is continuing and then i really want to put in this dollhouse and it reminds me very much of the ghost uh, family home family home or is it just a house who knows yeah look at that it even got some graves on the outside and then maybe oh we can get this little toy chest the uh, thingy thing cute 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 and then we can have this a uh, bookcase right there in pink cool and fresh and fun people and i also put in this uh, chandelier on the top there bam, bam, bam. but all right that was the nursery for the second floor i put up these curtains up here because i couldn't <laughs> deal with the other curtains right now but yeah that is looking really cute oh my and the downstairs there's two. Wow. All right, I am now all done and done with this house. So you know what that means. It's time for the house tour. Oh, it is. Here is the house. The front of the house, at least. I love it. I mean, look at that. That is an exterior and a half, people. Wow. Then we got the front garden and the other side of the front garden. Very, very well. Then I got my little table right there and my selling table on the other side. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's go through this little hall. Wow. And over here, we have some more tables and my fountain. And then the other side and my little plant something <laughs> words are hard and then of course we cannot forget the beautiful pond a very magnificent pond that's over here wow and here is an overview of the back of the house i love it so much it's so magical it's so whimsical i have created something here and i don't know what it is but it's something and we also got this side of the house if somebody was wondering i don't know but if you're wondering here it is all right so let's go inside this house shall we and we're gonna begin with this shop the crystal shop and oh my gosh my pillow is gone again i swear to god i have replaced that pillow so many times now it's just gonna be like that that is a magical skull all right it is but oh wow this place is looking so cool with all the pictures grab a little register right there grab a little gnome gary mary let's step into the back room and oh my gosh that is truly something to behold <laughs> oh it's so cool. Oh my. Look at the bookshelf with all the stuff on it. Got my bookshelf with all my nickety knacks on it. I'm gonna do a fish eye for you guys. Fish eye. Then another fish eye. Fish eye. Okay. And let's walk in here. To our little shop. Art shop. I got my skulls. I got my art. My wonderful, wonderful art. Got my lady. My other lady. And our urns. Yes. And we got Vincent popping up in there. You know, you know. Oh my gosh. This corner is actually so cute. With the little postcards. And her little setting stool. Oh my. I'm gonna try to get a wide angle is this wide enough for you guys i hope so and now we're leaving and we are gonna walk upstairs to the real house and oh my welcome to the entryway people we got a entryway table <laughs> the other side then we got another hallway and then a little sitting nook over there and the other side of the hallway and if we walk in here what shall we find oh we shall find a bathroom i think it's wonderful it is what a bathroom is and then we go down this corridor it leads us to the kitchen and my freaking column is gone again oh oh okay here they are the columns popped up again i fixed it people i fixed it but all right here is the kitchen looking all nice and dandy very dandy why the kitchen is looking blue i do not know but here is the dining area oh, okay, i'm gonna get a fish eye mm -hmm. 
some fish eye and another fish eye and now we're gonna skid that upstairs to the living room oh and here is the picture wall and what happened here i don't even want to know well here is my piano oh my gosh the camera is lagging so much i can't oh no well here is the living room the other side of the living room <laughs> got some beautiful nicky knacks oh my gosh i love that table that's cute and cozy and the lovely bookshelf can i get a fish out of this no i cannot i'm floating around people i'm floating around i'm so sorry let's go into the primary bedroom <gasps> I love it so much. Look, that's my desk, my bookshelf. Oh, this is looking so cute. I love it. Got my little table. Got some other stuff on that side. Just stuff all around, really. Okay, let's step into the bathroom. And oh my gosh, here's the bathroom. One side of it at least. And here's the other side. Can I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here is the, the camera is not working. The camera is glitching so much. Here is the walk-in closet with all the stuff that you could ever find in here. And can I? Here's the shelves. I am so sorry. But here it is, people. And now Nora from the future is back again, people, to finish off this house tour. And I... <laughs> this camera is not working. It, it really isn't. Okay. So here's one side of the room. You can do a little fish eye. I kind of like it. I mean, I did the room really quickly because I have to. One, because I really need to edit this video. And two, my neighbors are driving me up the freaking wall. But I like it. I like the pack. I like the vibes. And here's the second floor. And I'm floating up. I'm floating down. Oh my gosh. My camera is glitching out. I'm barely touching my keyboard. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the view. Oh no. The help me <laughs> all right the house door is done now oh no we have uh, the basement there we go we're in the basement and oh this entrance is looking pretty cool i must say we're gonna step in here and oh my gosh here is that studio basement looking fresh and neat and fun i think i think this is one of my favorite rooms gotta be honest look at all the nicky knacks and my plant is floating up in the air oh i gotta fix that too there's a lot of things to fix now but i do love this so much all right now we gotta skedaddle oh and by the way here's a little overview of the house here's the basement the first floor the second floor the third floor and the fourth floor that was it my friends all right that was it for this time <laughs> hope you enjoyed it i really enjoyed it i did and uh, don't forget to join the shell challenge you have a month to do it and it will be very lovely to see your results yes and don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out so um thank you but only if you want to only if you want to and i will see you guys next time goodbye <laughs>